This was Happy Valley Comic Con in Pennsylvania. It is by Penn State. First time doing this con, and also the first con of 2023. It's going to be a big year for us. Probably the most conventions I've ever done, including the days when I was with Zenoscope as a staff writer when I was doing conventions over and over and over, month to month. I'm excited this time around. We have um, a Destiny New York trading card game exclusive card for every single con this year, including this one. This was the Meadow Cats for Happy Valley Comic Con. Uh, Cat Duran, Crystal Hearted Cat did the art. Absolutely beautiful stuff there. For the vlog, I want to you know show you guys what it's like to be at a convention. This is what I like to think of as a convention that is a bit higher in aim than just a small local con. It was small, but you actually saw publishers here. You know, uh, uh, Dynamite had a presence. Dynamite actually had an exclusive uh, comic for this that had Vampirella on the cover. I don't know what series it was, but that was pretty cool to see. And also, I'm a big fan of Pokemon. You see a lot of that here. Did I buy some Pokemon stuff? Yes. Did I have to? No. Did I still do it? Of course. This is a pretty rural area, so we didn't get to try the food situation that much. All the food here was either Sheets or a fast food joint. Now, if you don't know what Sheets is, Sheets is sort of like nasty Wawa. If you don't know what Wawa is, then you're not from the East Coast, probably. Wawa is like a 7-Eleven, a better 7-Eleven, mixed with a worse gas station, mixed with a better Starbucks, and a better Subway. It's great. So what is Sheets, then? Sheets is the shitty version of that, but not in a bad way. It's good shitty. Sheets is like that, except... Instead of uh, a deli sandwich, you can get a horrible burger. A burger with, say, Doritos on it, mozzarella sticks on it. Sheets is where you go when you're okay with dying based on eating a meal. One day before the convention, we got a big shipment for our book, Cheeky. Now, because we had a convention right in the middle, I couldn't exactly spend the weekend shipping Cheeky. So, I wanted to delay our Kickstarter for the sequel to it, Steamy, by a little bit. Unfortunately, we had cards printed with the launch date for Steamy one week before we're actually going to launch it. So during the convention, Steve and I went through all the postcards and rewrote the date of launch. During that conversation, Steve and I got into some interesting ideas for the future of the company. So here's a bit of a brainstorming session about what goes into some small merch decisions for the company. So what's your take on uh, Happy Valley Comic Con? Rural. You know, first count of the year. Um, sometimes the end of the year and the, be the beginning of the year are a bit harder. It's uh, it's my first time out here, actually, doing a kind of more rural Pennsylvania con. The girl yesterday at the club, uh, she had only been to Philly like once. Like she, I mentioned Philly, and she said, "How long? How far away is that?" <laughs> Pennsylvania is a big state. Yeah, Crazy. you should. Um, after we're done with this con. You should make a list of what you think are the most actionable things for us to do, like make the bags, make the t-shirts, that kind of stuff. Because I want to do all that, and if I have a, a list of what you see as the most, that that'll be very helpful. Because my mind is mostly on the books right now. Right. How's it going? If um. It out, bitch. I'm thinking, can we get someone cool to design um, like a piece of apparel or like something like that? Yes. Um, yes. Something that's awesome that we could, you know, I wear hats all the time. I'm not saying we sell a lot, but I wear a hat all the day long. Something that could it maybe stand alone and just be cool, but also be from... Us, you know what I mean? Like even just a cool hat that said Destiny New York would be yeah. kind of cool. What you said. Or even spoke to the future. Yeah. People like, I mean, that title is really popping off. I don't even smoke and I would wear that. <laughs> Baby, you give me ice and fire. 
up my appetite. 